Hello everyone, welcome to Coding with Sejas. This is the second video in the UFI series. If you are coming to this channel for the first time, do subscribe to get updates about the new videos. Also, share this channel with your friends who is interested in learning SAP UFI. In the last video, we learned how to set up our development environment. In this video, we will check how to create a simple UFI application. A prerequisite for developing UFI application is the knowledge in JavaScript and XML, JSON, HTML, etc. So please go through some videos if you are not aware of these technologies. With everything in place, let's jump into UI5. When we talk about UI5, the first question to be answered is, what is UI5? UI5 is an HTML framework developed by SAP, used to develop user-centric applications. It uses technologies like JavaScript, HTML, CSS, JSON, and XML. Since it is using all these web technologies, it can be run against any platform. Let it be Android, iOS, or any browser. With everything in place, we are good to start UI5 development. So in the last video, we created a simple HTML file and run it against a static server using Surf. So today, we will be enhancing this application into UF application. For that, we have to make some changes into HTML file. So let's jump into it. So the first thing to do is to create a web app folder. So I'll create a web app folder and I'll move the HTML file into it. Once I move it, I'll remove the header tag and I'll add some parameters to body first thing to add a class and I'll make it SAP UI body I'll also assign an ID let me call it content apart from this we need to load the SAP UI5 resources for this we need to add a script tag so I have a code snippet in my clipboard this is it. Format it. If you look at it, the adding the script or initialization of SAP UI5 library is called as bootstrapping. So here we have a script tag with an ID SAP UI bootstrap and the source point to the SAP UI5 SDK. So this is the URL to load SAP UI5 resources and we are setting the theme using data hyphen sap hyphen ui hyphen theme belies we set the theme and we also set the default libraries sapm so in ui5 there are a lot of libraries like sap ui core sapm sap commons and many other libraries sap Viz libraries there are a lot of libraries so what we do here is we are setting sapm as a default library here so i'm setting sapm also we are giving a namespace for this folder so right now this index to html is contained in a folder called web app and you are giving it as quick start so here instead of quick start let me give it as app so app points to the current folder so same time i have to go here and update the module so here we are loading a module called index from the namespace app on on it of the on initialization of the script we will be loading the index module from the app folder app points to the namespace current folder so we need to create a new file. Let me call it index.js. So index.js is a module as you've seen in the index.html. So what we need to hear is we need to initialize the or we need to add some code snippet to make it work. So I'm importing certain controls using sap.ui.define. So this is sapui.define. I'm importing a library for button. So SAP slash M slash button. So I'm importing button control from the M library. I also need to show a toast message. So for that, I'll be using message toast, which is again a control in the UI5. So I'm loading button. I'm loading a message toast. And both are imported. So anytime I want to use these things, I can directly use it. So first thing, 
I'll create an instance of button using new keyword button and I need a text so let me call it say hello and I also will be creating an event I'm attaching an event handler so press function so this is generic javascript syntax function and I'll be calling message toast dot show hello world so right now we have created a button but we haven't put that into any content so to put it to the content we have the content id here so this body tag so we need to put our ui fi resources into the body tag so what we do here is we will be adding that to the content for that we need to simply say place at content so let's start a new terminal instance and let's serve the module so i got one address so i'll copy it and i'll open a new term new browser window okay i'm opening the 3000 port as you have seen we have a web app folder clicking on it loads our indexed html with a button say hello on clicking on that it shows hello world so this is a simple application which we have created using a uh, ui5 so let's re recap so what we have done here is we created a folder called web app folder we put the indexed html into that in indexed html we have done bootstrapping by which we load the ui5 resources after loading the resources we have defined a module named index so we created index.js file and we add the code snippet into it the code snippet to load the ui resource and and after creating an instance of the button we put that into the content object so with this we have created the first ui5 application so let's see more about ui5 in coming videos thank you guys see you in next video